Greetings, Imperial Brothers, and welcome back. So, I'm out here in front of Gedna Relville's tomb, and uh, you guys have so graciously reminded me how to unlock things. It's less beneficial to unlock with a lockpick, and more so to do it with the spell, if I can figure out how to use the spell, because everything still feels slightly different to me in this game. Um, was it the second barrier? You guys said it in the comments like a million times when I already forgot already. Um, however, I do want to say, also in the comments, there were so many people saying, I was so pleasantly surprised, there were so many people saying this is one of their favorite series and they were so happy it was back, and, um, I don't know, to be honest, I just wasn't expecting that, um, sort of reaction so thank you guys so much and because of that I've decided to see how much I can milk out of Morrowind within this month because I do think Max and I will be back with uh, Skyrim in May so I'm gonna aim to from here on out for the rest of the month of April do um, two Morrowinds a week because I do want to finish this DLC this little quest line here it's really exciting and I'm enjoying it and uh, I would hate to, you know, put another hiatus on it in the middle of, you know, a bunch of action in some random spot. So, I'm going to kind of plow through with Morrowind here for the month, and I'm excited to do so. Scroll of Unhinging, that's the one, right? I forget how to use magic in this thing, man. I really honestly, like... I feel like I'm doing it wrong. Oh, this, this, this is right, right? Um, unhinging, unhinging, unhinging. Here we go. Yeah, okay. Here we go. Sweet, okay. Let's, um, you guys have said Geldal, old Geldal here is, um, with the, like the toughest enemy in the game. So let's fucking see what happens. Um, but also someone... I'm scared. Someone mentioned that she might not be here, but it seems like they, I don't know if it's, a, I don't know who it is, he or she, seems like they will be here, based on that message. Why is this so creepy? And there's this heroic music. I don't feel very heroic right now. I feel very timid. Very frightened. Where's my... Where's my sword? Where's my, where's my sword? Her dart? <laughs> that doesn't sound very, like, cool, uh, godlike weapon. Ooh, her dart. Okay. Does she go to the bar and play darts with it? Um, her ebony schmichter. Where's my good old blade? What the hell happened to it? Why am I using fists? I thought I just had a, uh, a sword. I don't, um, I don't, I don't see any Geldal. Let me reload real quick, because I thought I had a sword. I just repaired it off screen a minute ago. My ebony longsword. Am I losing my mind? Oh, because I'm still magic. Holy shit. Okay. Here we go. I am losing my mind. Takes me a minute, guys. Please bear with me as I relearn how to play the game. As I relearn how to play the game, I'm fixing to fight the toughest enemy in the game. So we'll see how that goes too. Maybe it'll be uh, beginner's luck. Maybe not. Maybe she's really not here. Yeah, they said it was tied to a quest and she might not pop up at all. Yeah, and I'm back the way I came. Temple Gardens. Wow, that's, that's bogus. I was ready to fight. I knew I probably wasn't going to win, but I do get very, um, very stubborn in these games and I probably would have tried my best a million times if I had to. Um, but if not, everyone was saying my chest in 
Caius's back home in Belmora is bound to have some artifacts in there, but I don't, frankly, I don't want to go all the way back there. Because in Morrowind, it's not as simple as a little fast travel. And, uh, yeah, unless I'm missing something, there's no one here. Which is too bad. Maybe I can figure out what quest is tied to this person. And then try to activate that, I guess. Because I am, I'm kind of, I'm intrigued now. I mean, I was just going to go fight this random old lich, whatever it is. And then everyone's like, oh, Jesus Christ, don't do that. And so now I'm, oh. That's nice. I don't know if I need any salt trees. But yeah, now I'm intrigued. Come on, you know, now I like want to do it. Alright, yeah, no one's here. Let's see if I can activate this quest somehow. Okay, so I looked up the quest. It's part of a quest called Crimson Plague, and it's given to you by this uh, woman here. And I got her name mixed up. It's Gedna Relville. I was calling her Geldel. <laughs> it was even a grosser name. But yeah, this is the quest giver here. And I've talked to this woman, I think. But now she's saying, if you have heard the latest rumors, perhaps someone of your abilities and experience could find it in your heart to help the community. What are you talking about? I've heard there's a new strange disease going around. Neryl and Darren. So it's like a Star Wars character. Or a Mormon character. One of our oh, it is a character! I thought that was the name of the disease. One of our healers in the temple seems to think it has to do with rats. You don't look like someone who would be afraid of rats. Maybe you could talk to her and offer your help. Um. Okay. You're probably getting a disease from being out here in the dust storm 24-7. Okay. So I'm yeah, I'm glad this is essentially this is not you know, I don't I don't have to go that far out of my way to Just. acquire this quest. That's what I was afraid of. It was out in some hut in the middle of nowhere. Although I forgot in Mornhold I can't actually go outside of the city, and I don't know if there is an an outside of the city in this uh DLC. Maybe there is, I don't know. That'd be cool if after a certain point you open up this area. Because whenever you try to like open the gate outside, it just says like you cannot go this way. Oh, I had a blight! This is good. Ladies Grace! That's that ought to help me. Alright, uh who was I supposed to talk to? I already forget. Neryl Andron. How could I forget? I just made fun of his name. Oh, Neryl. Hello, it's me, Neryl. I'm Neryl Andron. I'm discouraged. Where are they? Oh, Neryl! At the, the temple. I thought you'd be in the basement. Um... Narrow? Is this you, Narrow? Hello? Health yes. And healing Hello, spirit. young man. Interested in the rumors circulating around the city? I can say that I consider them to be exaggerations of the truth. Several people have fallen ill lately, to be sure, but it is hardly the epidemic people are making it out to be. Oh, she's a COVID denier. As long as you're here, however, perhaps I could ask a small favor of you. A small favor fighting the toughest enemy in the game? Yes. Well... It's not much, really. A simple delivery that needs to be made, actually. Gion Olin reported being ill earlier this week, yes, as we know, yet refuses to come to the temple for healing. Some nonsense about a collection of his. At any rate, if he will not come to us, then we must take the initiative and go to him. Will you deliver this cure disease potion to him? Bruh, I thought I was just going to fight the guy, the woman, whatever, Gedna. Yes, I know it's a menial task, most likely beneath someone of your stature. My stature? I take it myself, but I need to stay here in case anyone else arrives needing assistance. I do appreciate it, young man. Just let me know when you've delivered it. To who? Gion? His house is in God's reach. He rarely leaves it, from what I understand. Okay. Um. Um. Alright. And then do I get to fight Edna? I just want to fight this old lady and get my ass kicked. Hmm. Ah, there he is. I would rarely leave my house, too, if the weather was always like this. Make it the haboobs here in Arizona. 
almost every uh, monsoon season. Oh, you look uh, healthy. A handsome young man for Morrowind standards. Ash storms in the city? Not gonna happen. This is Vivanfil. Something must be done. You have different problems, my friend. Are you here to deliver the potion? What if I just keep the potion? What's the point of that? Thank you so much, young man. I'll be able to return my work in full health. Give my regards to Nero. All right, now I guess uh, you got a cool little garb here, buddy. Back to Nero. Why do you have three daggers? What are those different dragons? RK the enemy. What if he's a friend? You don't know. All right. Goodbye, Gion. Back to Nero. I was just walking back up to, uh, what the hell's her name? Nero, and I'm attacked by rats! What is this? This isn't, is this what's causing the, the disease? Where's my sword? Okay, here we go. Where? Where'd they go? Rats in my basement? Infected rat, yeah, okay, here we go. Elder Scrolls really has a thing for this type of quest. Rats in the lower level. And there's always like a dark elf woman involved. Health and healing are my specialties. Yeah, you need me to kill Geldal? I hope it's not too much of an imposition. But there's another sick individual! Athel and Malice. Is she, what, she, we're not going to talk about the rats? My f f Come on, lady. Yes, I know. Please don't hate me. Too late. But after those vicious rats showed up. Okay, here we go. I realized I still can't. She was just walking around with them. She didn't give a shit. Exactly like the Oblivion one. I'm sure that's a nod to this quest. I realize I still can't afford to leave the temple. Besides, well, you're not doing anything about it, lady. Why don't you let me stay here and mop up the rats? Because clearly you won't. And then you can go hand out the potions. Besides, I'd like to, like to take a closer look at one of them. See if I can't really figure out what's going on here. Just take the potion to Athel and Malice. He should be somewhere outside the temple in the courtyard. Okay, at least he's just in the courtyard. And then... I want to have a cool, epic battle. This is what this is all about. Athel and Malice, is that his name? They're all like... All these names are like so different, but at the same time, the same. I can't, I can't, I can never differentiate them. There are very few names, especially with the elves. I like remember distinctly. Oh, this is, you know, Athelin, Athelin Malice. Who the hell knows? Are you Athelin? Oh, he's right here. Perfect. They won't let me in. I'm a sick man. The bastards won't let me in. Well, I got a thing here for you. What? They sent you out with a potion instead of letting me come in? Fine, whatever, I don't care. I'm just getting tired of being sick. Just give it to me, will ya? Yeah, I feel bad you're out here in the the the, the dust and the and the poo. Well, at least someone around here isn't determined to let an old man die. <laughs> Alright. Neville, whatever your name is, I'm coming back. Your mercy? You don't seem very... If I had to describe you with one word, I would not be merciful. Kind of mean. Who's this? What are you Health doing here? And healing yeah, yeah, I can tell. Special. Have you delivered the cure disease potion? I'd be grateful if you did. Yeah, I did it. Thank you. I'm afraid there's more serious work to be done. Now that I've determined the Crimson Plague is behind all this. Bum, bum. I did do quite a bit of research to find any useful information. It seems the disease was stamped out during the Second Age, but now it's resurfaced. I'm not sure how or why, but I know something must be done about it. It spreads easily and acts quickly. Contagion. Now that you're one of the few people aware of what's really going on here, I'm going to enlist your help in learning more about the reappearance of the Crimson Plague. I'm looking to it myself, but I need to remain here in case more victims come in for treatment. I imagine that reasoning is becoming all too familiar to you, yes? Perhaps you could check it out for me? I'd start by checking the sewers and tombs beneath here. We're getting close, if I were you. The rats seem to be coming from there, as they always are, and up through the temple's basement. It must be something that they're coming in contact with. 
Yep, I'm right on it. Neville Longbottom, whatever your name is. Neryl Anderson. So I, I keep wanting to like turn them into normal names. Neville Anderson. That's the that's the woman up above. Oh, what is this? Why do you approach? What are you talking about? Why do I approach? There's a man dying on the ground here. Shinari must speak with the young man. You don't even know who I am. She has seen things. Oh yes, things that young man needs to know. Quickly, before the guard wakes up. Oh, you knocked him out? What the hell's wrong with you? Shinari snuck in and had to knock poor guard out. Guards do not like Shinari. They take her to jail if they see her, and then Shinari will die because she is sick. Young man must help Shinari, and then Shinari will help young man. <sighs> yes, yes, young man helps now. Shinari saw young man go into tomb under temple. When young man left, Shinari went in to see if treasure was left. And then Shinari will not say more. She is sick and needs help. Young man will cure her of bad disease. And then Shinari will tell more. Hurry, hurry before poor Shinari dies. Meet Shinari in temple gardens with spell or scroll. Shinari does not trust potions that could be poisoned. Go see Neryl and Duran. She knows Shinari. She will help. Back to Neville Anderson. I can't believe she just knocked the guard out. I thought he was like, you know, ill. But no, it's this friggin' Shunari. I heard noises from downstairs. Yeah, it was Shunari. Classic. Always yuck, mucking, yucking, messing things up. Where, um, I thought I was supposed to talk to her. Am I not supposed to talk to her? Whoa, 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 whoa. Jesus, they scared the shit out of me. I spoke with a Khajiit named Shunari Eyefly? I must find either a spell or a scroll to cure her disease. Oh, so I just buy it from her. No, oh, you bitch. Come on. What? Oh. God! Okay. Ah! Sharing is good. You... Awful. I don't think she's gonna budge. Yeah, yeah, no problem. I've helped you out, Neville. I don't like you very much anymore. Okay, do I have any of this on my person? Cure common disease. Does that, does that count? Is that as enough? Did I just give 3,000 gold to Neville Anderson for no friggin' reason? I'm used to being able to just bribe my way out of anything in Oblivion. I rather liked that, and it was easy. It made my life easy. I didn't have to be smart, I just had money. Are you kidding me? All these people are so rude. You need me right now. You have no time for me. You're literally, I'm like your only... Oh, Jesus. Here we go. Round two. Are you guys excited? I'm on like round five. I feel like I've been in these sewers so often, yet I still don't know where I'm going. Let's see. Oh, a pleasant track for the sewers. Not anymore. Goodbye. Can we just stop for a little bit? Just relax, relax, relax. Calm down. Thank you. All right. I don't want to dull up my sword by the time I get to Edna, Edna mode. Jesus. All right, I'm just, I'm macking my way through this. I'm just gonna hop on by here. What is this? This is nothing, a false front. Excuse me, don't mind me. <laughs> okay. Um, is this the thing that's flooded? I feel like I always check the exact same shit. Like, I take the same path. I take the same wrong pathways every time I go through the sewers here. Oh, this is promising, though. At least it's not... Oh, Jesus Christ, you guys. Just give me a minute. You know, maybe not every single time I walk through these sewers. I'm not dying. Not today, not today, not today, not today, not today. I'm dying. Did you know Argonians can breathe under water? Alright, here's something that's a little insane, guys. I, um... Oh, it didn't work. Great. I had to reload from, like, way before. 
because I forgot to save as I went along. Which is, you know, it's understandable. This wasn't working before. Let's hope it works at some point. Okay. Anyway, my point is, so, you know, I spawn back here. Okay, whatever. I go to uh, Mera Hellas, the woman outside of the temple, and I can't, I don't get the same prompt from her. She doesn't, she doesn't give me the quest. And then I read in a walkthrough that you actually have to go to Gedna Relville's tomb first, just by happenstance, see that it's empty, and then randomly at some point talk to Mera. And then the quest starts. It's a little weird. You must agree. Okay, yeah, I forgot to talk to her about friggin... Okay, I, I did all this. Yes, I know her, but keep your voice down. Galsa? Who the fuck's... Oh! She gave it to me! Scroll... Oh my... Oh! Okay. I just did everything again. And I'm going to... High tail my ass. Ooh, I'm already getting hit. To the temple. If I can stop getting exploded, that would be really nice. Um, does it tell me on my map? Don't stop me now, guys. Don't stop me now. We're gonna have a good time. God! Don't stop me now. We're gonna have a good time. God, I feel like I'm in a, like the, the mummy ride at Universal Studios. Don't stop me now. I'm gonna have a good time. Alright, don't follow me in here. Stay on your turf. Liches and skellies and... Okay, here we are. Where's Sherlina? Hello? You better be in the most obvious spot. Waiting patiently for me. Where the fuck are you? There you are, thank you. Okay, hello good man, young man, whatever the fuck my name is. Good young man is what she said. <laughs> Has returned. Is young man here to help? Yes, 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 take your fucking thing. I will cure you now. Good, good, Shinario is so weak and he's curing. Use your spell, young man. You want something? Oh, you'll help me fight? Okay, I guess that's good. Sounds like I'm gonna need it. All right, here we go. Chitin pancakes. Uh, tell me about Edna. Shinari has said that she watched young men open tomb. Shinari has often wondered what treasure lays in tomb, but door is too heavy. Shinari cannot open it. So when young man leaves, Shinari goes in for a look. She finds corpse and coffin, but co corpse gets up and attacks. Pushinari can do nothing to fight it. It says it is good. Never has come to spread crimson plague. The crimson plague. Bah, bah. To all of Mornhold. Even though Shinari feels ill, she comes. Th yeah. Okay. Great. Good for you. Thanks. Bad disease. It must be for it makes poor Shinari feel weak. I think most diseases make you feel weak, and hurts your head. Yeah. It sounds like a just a regular, you know, viral little, you know, seasonal thing. But young man has made Shinari feel much better. Shinari. So Shinari will not dwell on how young man allowed disease to spread, but what the fuck? Mind your own business. And now brave young man will go find and kill Gedna. Yeah, with your help, right? Shinari is scared once she catches bad disease and wants only to get away from evil lich. So Shinari does not see how secret passage in tomb works. Great. Okay. Tomb, uh, secret passage that I'm not going to know how to find. I'm not going to understand how to find it. Shinari does not know for sure how passage works. She sees Gedna Relville walk down ladder and up to wall between two columns. Oh, so there really is a hidden place. Shinari looked away, and when she looked back, Nasty Lich was gone. Will a brave young man try and enter passage and kill Foul Witch? Okay, let me read this again. She walks down a ladder. Walks down a ladder, mind you. So is it like a slanted one? 
and up to a wall between two columns. Shinari looked away, and when she looked back, Glitch was gone. Okay, so I thought you were going to actually help me fight her. Screw you. Here I go. Right. Saving once again. Wish me luck, folks. It's been a long journey getting to Geldal just so I can get one of two artifacts I need to do something, which I don't even recall. Mark and recall. Okay. Walk up a ladder. Two columns? I don't, there's no columns here. These are two, are these two columns? These teeth looking things? Is there like just a levitation thing I'm supposed to do or something? A rock wall in the bottom chamber and center in front of it. What am I supposed to do, guys? This is what I thought was like the opening, because there's like a, you know. Oh, okay. It was just that. Ah! <clears throat> Jesus Christ! Right, stop! Just relax. One at a time. One at a time. Could I have just done that the whole time? I wonder. Shit. my god. There's a lot going on here. Okay, okay. <clears throat> I'm scared. Is that her over there? Holy fuck. Okay, I'm gonna save again. Because, you know... Why not? I don't want to go through all those skeletons again. Holy shit. Okay, here we go. Ultimate showdown. Woo. Okay. Yeah. Weakling, you dare cross my threshold? You then will be first to fall before the undead army sweeps across this land like a plague, cleansing it of your flesh. You die, Edna. Oh my god! Alright, well now I kinda got a feel for it. So let's try again. Clearly, I need to... Sure, I'll take that. Uh, I'll take this as well. What is that? Oh, I don't want to do that. Uh, sure, I'll do this. I'll do this. I'll do this, absolutely. I'll do this one. Seems like a good one. Just effects all the way across the screen. That's what I'm looking for here, folks. Those little symbols up there. They need to just fill the whole top of the screen there. I like how I say goodbye to that. Holy shit. Madstone of Ahamusa. The sound. Maybe the sound will save me. Sound. I sound at you. It did nothing. I don't know what it did. Um... I've never been so scared. Huh. Oh, God, okay.
Wait. <gasps> After all that. Oh my god. All right, maybe this was a mistake. But all this work. I put all this fucking work into getting Gedna to reveal herself. I can't. I cannot walk away from this. But what the fuck? <sighs> the spamming the spells worked. That was a good idea. Rope of the Ledge. Now I'm going back to, uh... What am I going back to? I don't have any more... Uh... Teleport back to the temple type shit. Oh, Jesus. Okay. Holy shit. Anything else in here? Any more... Juicy nuggets? I guess not. Holy shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She's... she's toast. She's dead this time, yes? And there was no more treasure to be found? Then Shunari has no reason to stay. You're a little rat, aren't you? Young man should go tell... Neville... Anderson that Lich is gone. Shunari will not forget what young man has done, though her path may not cross young man again. Uh, yeah, that's fine. I hope we don't. You're kind of weird. Justice never sleeps. Actually, you were sleeping a minute ago. I'm gonna be honest, guys. If I have to uh, go to the temple sewers one more time, I'm not gonna be very pleasant to be around. Have you heard? No, oh, have have I any? Yes, I have news. I've not heard any news. I'm the news bringer because I'm the hero. With Edna dead, perhaps we've stemmed the tide of this outbreak before it spread too far. I'll have the guards on the outlook for any more rats. There shouldn't be any, and many left now. Mornhold owes you quite a debt. Yeah, you're right about that, young man. Whether it knows it or not, it will never know. These games, the people, the NPCs, they don't give a shit. I can offer you much in the way of payment. I go. Oh, I can't offer you much classic, but I can grant you the power to heal. I hope you will not often find cause to use it. Uh, do I have to, like, click on power to heal or some shit? And healing are my specialties. Oh, the power to heal once a day. Um, did she? Nothing, like, popped up saying, like, you know how to heal. Alright, I believe you. Um, now I'm going to go to the Museum of Oddities or whatever the fuck and make sure I properly donate this robe, I guess, is the artifact. It better friggin' be. I'm not going back down there for anything. Um, yeah, it better be. <laughs> Welcome to the Mournhold Museum of Artifacts. Wow, oh, thank you. Welcome back to the museum, young man. I don't wish to sell, I wish to donate. Yeah. Rub of the lead. Here we go. Donate. Okay. What did she say about it? I can't. Oh, scroll up. Information is scarce at best when it comes to this artifact. Some have said it was pulled from a lich when it was. Def yeah, I. What? I defeated it. Others say it was developed by an evil mage who wanted the power of a lich without the drawbacks. Either way, it is a powerful item indeed. Don't you wish to? Can't I tell you my tale about how I defeated the most powerful enemy in the game? I donate. A very generous donation. Splendid! I must say, I feel more comfortable with this in the museum's collections. 
than I would knowing it was somewhere out in the world. Okay, you sure I can't give you anything else, Rebel Lich? Yes, thank you. Very nice. Royal Guard. Um, Stendar's hammer. By Stendar. Right, you have my robe. The only things you have in this museum are like the things I've given you. Didn't I sell you this little dagger? And then, where's the robe? Trust in gods and justice. Oh, that's my shit. <laughs> I just, I, the most interesting thing in here is just the pauldrons I dropped on your floor. You got so many guards guarding what? There's the robe of the lich. Standard's hammer. That's pretty cool. Can I just like steal that? Be kind of dope. All right. Well, next time will be. I guess I'll just go back to, um, you know, Caius's place and grab something from the old drawer. But uh, cause man, that was that was quite the adventure. Um, well, you know, thank you to the patrons, thank you to the subscribers, and uh, hopefully, yeah, next episode I can get both items donated and then. She can give me whatever the heck it was she was going to give me. So, uh, yeah. I'll see you in the next video. Take care.